This is George with QACTV.com, and today we're talking with Krista Pettit of Haven Ministries. We're at the Kent Island Methodist Church, where they've had their homeless shelter for a while now, but they now have a new designated space within the church. Hi, my name is Krista Pettit. I'm Executive Director for Haven Ministries. Welcome to our new designated space for the homeless shelter. Same program, same location at Kent Island United Methodist Church, just a different location within the same building. So we've been running a shelter out of this particular building, Kent Island United Methodist Church on Cox Neck Road in Chester for 11 years. But we now have a new space, and this is our designated space. Behind me is our sleeping room. We're really excited about that because we're able to have furniture that does not have to break down every morning. We can keep it out. And all of our guests, including the children that stay with us, have their own space and their own beds, which is really important to them. We also have an office space here for case management services so we can work with each of our clients to figure out what they need to go from homelessness or at risk of homelessness to affordable and safe housing. And our case manager, Sandy Wiscott, works with every client, works very diligently on a plan so that when they leave here, everyone has a safe and affordable place to go. And also here, we have an eating space and a hangout space as well. Our volunteers and our shelter guests come up here every evening starting at 6 p.m. because our sign-in time is still 6 to 7 p.m. And we have dinner and we hang out and socialize and get to know each other. Um, and then folks can stay the night. And then they leave every morning at 7.30 a.m. If they need a place to go, we do have our educational programming, job training, and more case management services at our resource center in Centerville. And because we newly purchased a vehicle, we have transportation from here to there if folks need it. Um, some folks don't need that because they have jobs or they have um, other plans in their case management that they work. Um, but certainly if they need a place to go, we're able to take them to the Resource Center. This is the same program that we've operated for 11 years, a safe program um, that we've had and we do have a vetting um, process. And so everyone that comes in um, is checked for criminal background. They um, do a breathalyzer every night we have random drug tests if we deem that necessary, and then we are not able to take registered sex offenders because we help men, women, and children, and we're within the church, Ken Island United Methodist Church, as we have been for many years, and there are women and children and men here as well. So just for everyone's safety, we do have those parameters in place, and we have policies, procedures, and rules that we follow every night. Call Haven Ministries, 410-739-4363, and we have a website with a lot of information, including our rules and forms, and it's haven-ministries.org.